right here. This is game five. Navarre and Escambia should be a charge there, and it was. Got the Escambia Gators. You should tell those Gators, they got on orange and blue. Everybody has that. That's one of their colors. It's one of their teams. They're running in that orange and blue there. And got to travel. Nah, we just, we've seen a lot of those calls today. Navarre, Navarre struggled last year, but they looked pretty. They looked improved in the first game that we saw earlier. Uh, they they try to draw that charge. Two nothing. It's Gambia off the off the penetration. Both teams playing man to man. That's the person they try to go to to create man to man. there, number four. They get a little movement on the ball, movement away from the ball, and then they try to create one on one situations for him to take you. And he he did that last game. He was able to take him off the dribble and get to the basket. Man to man here, and a runner that got flipped in. Yeah, four nothing score here. Escambia four. A lot of man to man. A reach, and he takes you off the dribble, and he looks to penetrate. Good defense there. So far, we've seen the second game has uh, always been a little bit difficult uh, for the teams because they've come back after playing uh, 20 minutes in the opposing team. His legs a little bit fresher when they come in. The other team, not necessarily opposing team. Man-to-man -man pressure didn't deny the entry pass, but they're able to move the ball at will. Playing behind the post, they'll go to him. He looked around to swing it out of that. Never squared up. Now off to the races. Four nothing, 17-15 left in the half of basketball that they play. They play 20 minutes. Running time, the last two minutes. They'll run the normal clock, normal free throws. Right now in the first 18, they shoot. If you're shooting two free throws, they shoot one. He went back door. That time they tried to deny the entry pass. Ran in back door, a travel call, 16-49. Scambia with the ball out. Coach Jeremy Huffin, Ruffin, I'm sorry. Say he shot that jump shot with confidence. Aggressive to the boards winning Scambia. This time in man to man, if he's supposed to be putting pressure on the ball, he was taking his time getting over there to put the ball, put pressure on the inbound passer. Scambia's going to have to be able to stop that, that penetration when they're playing man to man. They're getting beat off the dribble by the guards from Navarre. Navarre looking to break the scoreless. I'll uh, be able to break the zero on the board right now at the free throw line. Shooting one counts for two. Hits the rim, bounces straight up, goes in. Should be two points, and it is. Man-to-man -man defense. Movement on the offense. They're fronting their postman down low. And had another postman behind him. Nice pass inside. Sideline fast break. Ball swung around on the perimeter. Number 23, 24. Rebounding the ball was blocked out. Kept moving till he got in position to be able to secure the offensive rebound. One of the things you always look at when you see somebody rebound do they rebound in their spot only, or do they move and rebound out of their position? Meaning, 
that if there's somewhere else on the floor, a ball goes up, do they pursue that spot to get a rebound? Is it something they really want? He wanted that one. At the free throw line again, shooting one for two points. Four to two scored by Escambia. And knocks it down. Four to four. Tie score, 14-31 left in the half. Sub wholesale substitution by Escambia. Penetration. And throw the ball a little bit low to be able to handle. Idea was correct. Ex execution still needs some more work on it. Full court, man to man. Trapped on the first pass. Shot blocked. Back to the free throw line again. That's where Navarre scored their points from. Two for two from the free throw line. They get two points for each free throw they knock down. They had the free throw line again. This one's good again. Three for three from the free throw line. They get two points for each one. Six to four. Navarre up over Escambia. High pick and roll. Unforced turnover, trying to make a pass that really wasn't there. First, first offensive set out of the game. Out of the two guards set, they hit the postman. Exchange positions off. Postman made a dribble drive, got to the basket. Have not seen that play again. Six to four, clock is running. 13 minutes left in this half. Getting a much better crowd in here today as the, as the evening goes on. More and more people coming. Cole chasing him. There's that high pick and roll. Didn't look for anybody. Foul. Going to the basket. 13. Nope, 12, 33 left at the free throw line. Cam, it's can be knocked down free throws like Navarre does. And they did not yet. Nice rebound. And back up, six to six. The block out was good, but now once you block out, you have to go get it. Nice handle. Reverse. A way to get to the basket and finish. Number 24 gets there, finishes it strong at the basket and back to the free throw line. Eight to six, Navarre. Navarre at the free throw line. 11.51, again, the clock is moving. <laughs> Navarre was 3-19 and 19 last year. They should do better this year. 9-6 with three-point lead over Escambia. They trapped that pick and roll this time. Still looking for that. Charge going to the basket. You have to go to the basket under control. I think that jump shot was forced a little bit. Number 30, very active on the, on the boards down there. Coach trying to get a timeout. Number 30, active on the boards for Escambia. Jashawn Henderson. 6'4", senior. Athletic. Middle uh, mi drive to the basket. Excuse me? Oh, okay. All the way to the basket and one, 11 to six. Being be be able to score off that middle drive, there's a trap off the high pick and roll. They changed up on it. Nice penetration. And pushing the ball at every every opportunity and able to get to the basket and convert it. Number one, they're beginning to stretch that lead now. 13 to six with 10, nine, 10, 19 to go. 13 to six, Navarre, much improved over last year. Able to get to the basket, transition defense, transition offense for them. Not even having an opportunity to run the secondary break. They're scoring off the primary break. And they're scoring off layups on it. 
They're getting that rebound off the glass and they're getting down. Escambia has to do a better job in transition defense. What Navarre has done, they're actually limiting them to one shot opportunity. When Navarre limits them to one shot opportunity, they're able to push the ball down the basket pretty good. That Thirteen to six, ten, nineteen left in the twenty-minute half. The next half of basketball will be Pine Forest and Escambia coming up next. They double team that post down low. Off on the transition again, and basket made. Fifteen to six. Jump shot out the corner. Off good rebound. There's a block out attempt, and then he ba he backed backed under him, and that's what the foul was. That's the old block out drill. He's doing what he was taught. Way to, way to zone it up under the basket to take away a layup. Missed that layup that time. Usually, as we say all the time, when teams go man-to-man -man defense on the under-basket play, most coaches have a play where you can get a layup off of it. Navarre looks like they zoned it up under there, take away the opportunity to get a layup out of it. Much more aggressive on defense now as Scambia is. Number four is going to look to take you off the dribble. That time he passed it out. Navarre sprinting back on defense, taking away the transition offense from Escambia. Good help defense. When the ball's on one side of the floor, Navarre generally has all five defensive players on half the court. They're all on the ball side where there's a line. You draw an imaginary line from goal to goal, cutting the floor in half. When the ball is on one side of the floor on the wing, you generally have five defenders on one side of the floor in position to give help defense. That's generally what they've been able to do. Missed another free throw. Have not scored in the last five minutes. Way to penetrate and drive. Skip pass, not a good pass. Escambia is able to get to the free throw line, but in these situations, or in all situations, it's very important that you knock down free throws. When you're in a position where your free throws count for two points, each one that you shoot counts for two. If you're missing them, it's going to hurt you on the other end. This is Mickey Clayton, the coach, and I'm here bringing this game to you from Tate High School. Preseason basketball jamboree. Hope that you enjoy being able to see this game live as we stream it to you. We will be here and cover the remaining contest that we have in here this evening. Pine Forest and Escambia, Pine Forest and Pensacola, Pensacola and Tate. There's the help. Been a long time in between baskets for Escambia. 15 to 8. They look to take you off that dribble. Scambia's help defense didn't get all the way down once it penetrates. Low block, rotates to cut off the baseline. Guard up top on the far side. Has to get all the way under, get head in the basket. 6.23 left, 15 to 8. There's that cut. There's that high post action. Pick and roll. Went away from it. To the basket. Nice play. Alley-oop and two. Ah, oh, we got our first dunker tonight. Nice penetration. 
Nice penetration. The crowd went a little crazy. Hadn't quite seen that dunk yet. 15 to 10. We got now. We playing basketball now. 551 left. And we got the alley oop and the dunk. 543. Arm length, arm length. A little intensity in here now. 15 to 10. Escambia. Navarre. Here's the difference in the game. Navarre has not missed a free throw. I thought he might have rushed it a little bit, and he did. Boy, everybody in the bar stood up. Waiting on 21 to be able to convert and pip that one in on the other side. Score still remains the same. 15 to 10. 449 left in the half. Scambia has to get that ball in play every time they stop and do something that de delays the referee putting the ball in play. It hurts them because they're playing from behind. That's a long three. Good block out, Navarre. Advance the long pass down the sideline, hit the man in the basket. A great effort by Navarre to get back on defense. Cambia having a little trouble getting into the offensive set now. He did a good job of sliding the top of that pick and roll, taking him away from the screener. You have to get shoulder to shoulder off that pick and roll. That was a good job defensively there. 351, clock still rolling. 15 to 10. It's Insights Game of the Week. We're here in Pensacola, Florida at Tate High School. Covering the preseason basketball jamboree. Last week, we were in Tallahassee. Covering the girls' tournament, our preseason tournament at Rickards. Now the girls have in-season play. They start a week earlier than the guys. Had their preseason Exhibition season last week, we got a chance to see some of the better girls basketball teams in the state of Florida right there in Tallahassee. Boy, being in Pensacola, we've already made friends and had requests to come back and cover games. We appreciate the love, Pensacola. We appreciate it. I thought that might have been a little bit out of his range. 15 to 10, 245 left. And this time, a lot more aggressive in the full court, man to man. For the first time, they've gone up and defended the ball. The last few times they ran it, the ball defender was all the way back at half court. He let, he let him get over the top and missed the layup. Clock still running, 15 to 10. Good game, good game, good game. I'm seeing on the bench over here, Navarre's getting ready to make a four-man, more four-man substitution. Missed that jumper, and they're off and running. Look, I thought he might have hurt himself there. It looked like his, like his tennis shoe blew out. Two-on-one break. A big man was looking for the alley-oop again. And finish the layup. Coach takes a timeout. 15 to 12. 138. We got to look at those tennis shoes he had on because he looked like he had a blowout right there about a step from the free throw line. Somebody must have shot him in the left shoe. Man, hadn't seen that happen in a long time. 15 to 12. 138 to go. Will Navarro be able to hold on to that lead? Will Escambia? Be able to get back in that transition defense. 
Navarre not quite as crisp getting to the basket as they were in the first seven, eight minutes. Remember, this is the second game they've played. They played back-to-back. -back. Might be beginning to show just a little bit. Coach has been substituting them, though. Legs might not be all the way there like they will be in about two to three weeks. We tell you that each team has played, has played the second game or back-to-back -back in the Jamboree, has had a little bit of difficulty. Look for the long passes. Nobody long. Generally, when they line everybody on one side of the court across the court like that, they're going to look to throw that long pass. I would imagine... Got an offensive foul. No, I'm sorry. Have a foul there. Ball's out on the... Nope, free throw. What, what do I know? Penetration pull up off the glass, off good rebound, and blocked. Way to play tough underneath. Number 20, strong underneath. 15 to 12. One oh six left, fifteen to twelve. And off. They're able to keep the ball. And double screen on the out of bounds play, you gotta travel. One oh three left, one oh two, one oh one at Scambia. That pick. That's the third offensive foul they were able to draw in this game. You have to go to the basket under control. You gotta be able to jump stop, shoot that bank shot. Especially when you play Navarre and you know that they're gonna do it. Good job by point guard as they double team him now. Back to the free throw line, 15 to 12, 47.5 seconds left. At the free throw line and in. Shooting one and one now in the last two minutes. Regulation rules. 16-12, 47 seconds left. Has missed. The rebound. Two possession game. Into the post. Nice pick. Don't need a three, but you need a basket. Fouled out of the out of the corner. Escambia has the opportunity to score with the clock stopped. Didn't need the three, but Navarre didn't need Navarre didn't need that foul either. At the free throw line, Escambia has not shown the ability to knock down the free throws yet. That's one, 16-13. Oh, 
ball, rim, hits the back, goes up, hits it again, comes down, and it's in. 16-14, two-point game. Short, it looks like, uh, look for a minute, like a Scambia had the ball. It went out too tight. They're going to beat him to the basket and finished it. And finished it. Four-point lead, 18-14. Blocking foul there. Twenty-two point three seconds, eighteen fourteen. Missed that jumper. Ten point seven seconds left, eighteen fourteen. Eighteen fourteen, pass inside. Two seconds left. Long three off the rim. That ends it with the score. Eighteen to fourteen. This may be the first time today that somebody was able to win back to back games. Navarre wins this one over Escambia. Insights high school game of the week.